Hey there, Drewer. I'm going to help the Computer Figure Network by playing this game. I'm going to tell how I feel about it. Um, this is Animated Puzzles Star. The star part was, I think, added a couple of times. No, not a couple of times. Uh, some time ago. Uh, not when I played it at first. I'm going to play something that I have uploaded to the workshop myself. But how do I feel about this game? Well, first up, I'm just going to start the puzzle because uh, the moment I start the puzzle, I will actually speed up the footage and then I'll talk about how I feel. Keep in mind, music uh, is randomized from the game, so I recorded a bit of music and I will just play that over the original sound. Because the original sound in this format, uh, because I'm speeding it up, the music will also be sped up and... Eh, it doesn't really sound like it. I have two puzzles here. One of those is for my normal channel, the other one, the other one for um, this. I'm going with this one because... Eh, this needs to be on my own. This custom option, play. Footage will be sped up from this point on, so yeah, let's speed it up. All right, footage has now been sped up. Uh, for as far as I can see, I have a, um, I of course, when I do this uh, kind of things, I have just, I, I just edit it before I do this part of the speaking. But keep in mind, normally the videos will be, uh, normally the videos that I do, on here will be just like recorded on the flow. So what I basically mean is um, when I do something for this channel you will actually kind of see that I do it on the whim. I just talk uh, at the moment like I can't do that with this because I would have uh, talked for about an hour and I just can't do that um, on this type of video. So that's why if I speed it up, then talk over it, that's much better. Because otherwise I can't even speed it up. So here's the thing. What do I like about this game? Well, the music is amazing. I can already tell you that. Just the possibilities of this game are amazing. You can just uh, download something from the, workshop, from the workshop and just do that puzzle. You can always... Um, Upload something to the workshop yourself, and you can set you can actually set it to private so no one actually um, nobody else can see it. So if you really have something that you don't want to share with anyone on the um, on the thingy on the workshop, then you don't have to. Another uh, fun thing about this game is that it has a lot more features, like. What you've uh, seen just in here, what you're seeing in this video is not even half of it. Like you have daily things, you have... Um, you can even you can switch between the days. Uh, you can only switch between the days of that month for as far as I know. So keep that in mind, but you can do a lot of things. Now, something even more amazing about this game is that it actually gives you the ability to choose what sort of um, pieces that you're using. Because hey, you need that. Uh, because you can actually get pieces that don't link into each other like you're seeing in this one. There are a lot of um, different sort of pieces, of course. You have like uh, these ones, the, um, the blocky ones. But you also have like uh, circles that you just have to put into each other. It's really amazing. And that's only for the sides of the um, puzzle. So if you have a piece, it will have a round side. Not more. Well, it still has a normal side, a normal edge. But just like the piece that you put into the other piece is round. So yeah. Um, of course, why did I pick this picture? It defines something about myself. It actually does define about me that I like anime. 
especially love life. Um, if something changes, if the video isn't love life, then this part of my speech will not even be here. Because uh, if we actually, um, if I actually see if uh, that this is not right, then it can actually happen that um, this actually has a lot of copyright issues. And if that happens, then I have to cut it out. And that's not really something I like, because this defines me. I like love life. I will always like love life. But yeah. What I also like are trains. I really want to be a train driver, just... I've always had that in my body. I'm going to try to get into the um, thingy for it. I've already tried it for a couple of years. I stopped trying it for one year. No, two years. Because I pretty much uh, got nailed. Well, nailed. Like the... Um, the people from that school were not really uh, so great about me, or great towards me, because, like, they've been saying that, yeah, you can just come next year, like, it doesn't matter that it uh, went wrong this time, and the year after, just everything went even more wrong, even though, when they've said to me, that I just could come next year. The, the reason why it went wrong like the first time around is because my dad had died. So yeah, that really does leave a mark on you. And then after that, just... If that happens, then they're just done with it. So yeah, I've been not at school for two, three years now. Sorry, three years. Because I have been at work for uh, for one year after my f All right after my last year on school I had work for one year and then two years no school no work and we're at the part now that it has been two years of no school but I'm trying to get into uh, college again so or in school so let's hope it actually works. Because if it doesn't, then I'm basically screwed again. But was all, I was also screwed by the fact that they said I didn't know much about the work driver of a train itself. Well, keep in mind, there are a lot of things that you need to know when it gets to driving a train. But aren't they supposed to learn me a lot of it? Actually, a lot of it you learn... Uh, on the go not even at school you, you learn 10% at school and 90% no not, not even 90% some you don't even learn it's like you learn 10% at school 50% on work and 40% you never literally learn because it never happens that you come into that situation but yeah, when we're at school, we'll, we'll be getting a, uh, uh, a daily paper that we have to pick up, because that is how it works in real um, thingies. On the real job as well, so that will be kind of fun. Just pick up the paper, just... If you forget it, then you're screwed, because you're not meant to forget it. But hey, it's always fun to see that sort of thing. I can see one, one uh, piece in this video right now, and I just see where it has to be. Oh no. Nope, I had it wrong. I just put it down, it was... Uh, oh, yeah, right, right, now, and I see now why it has to be there. I thought it may have been on uh, Ruby on the left, because she has part of her arm as well, and a part of Red that has to be in the thingy, and it was on that one, but no, I think it was part of Chica in the end. Ah, rip. 
Well, another thing that defines me really is, well, a lot of Japanese things. Like, I am from the Netherlands, but I like a lot of Japanese things. Uh, not even only anime. Um, manga I don't really read because I kind of can't read Japanese. So I, I still have to learn that, that I'm still going to. It just is going to take some more time. Uh, something else that I'm really keen about is, of course, a lot of other games. I like Minecraft, I like, uh, well, Hyper Mansion of Junior, of course. Because, hey, that's GRPG. That is something that I really like. And something else that I like, well, puzzle games, of course. Puzzles, adventures, RPGs, Skyrim, Fallout. Fallout 4, not so much. I liked uh, New Vegas better, but, well, yeah. Whatever, Fallout 4 was a flop in my eyes. What do I like? This is something else that I really, really like. Well, yeah, there kind of is. Harry Potter, Lego. Uh, PS Vita. I actually have a Hyper Dimension Step Junior game on the PS Vita, so... Uh, I even have a Love Life game on the PS Vita. I, I literally have a big box for it. It's like... It's called Love Life School Idol... Uh, I can't even read it from here. School Idol Paradise. It's always good because I have the big box. It's literally on my monitor. And I have... I have the special edition, so I have uh, three characters on my desk. But on the laptop to my right, there is the small uh, casing where the uh, little thingy goes in. Uh, that you put into the PS Vita. I normally do PS Vita things... Uh, I normally download them via the... Um, via just buying it online. And then on the um, PlayStation Network. And just downloading it to my PS Vita. But this is a special edition and you can't download it normally. So yeah, I had to buy it. Uh, I'm going for the two other ones as well. Because that game is in three, in three parts. They All three of them are at the same time released. L literally everything from that is the same moment. And it's just, um, it's really amazing. You play songs, you have to um, touch the buttons in the right order. It's really good. If you like Japanese music, of course, or school idol, move, uh, school idol uh, music, of course. Because that is a big part of it. Like, the, the game itself isn't Japanese. The, um, what should we call it? The game on the on iOS and on the uh, iOS and Android. That one is uh, that one. That one actually has an English option. I think if you download it on the, as long as you're not downloading it via the Japanese iTunes Store, then you have the English version. And I have. I had both of them. I have deleted the Japanese version because the Aquas update that was coming. Aquas is the group that you're seeing right now. Uh, because uh, when that update came out, I basically had everything from from the new content, so I didn't need the Japanese version anymore. Because my whole point of getting that version was because, hey, I didn't have all the content that I wanted. But it ha it does have it now um, since a couple of months. So uh, yeah, I've been really going at it. I have been playing the events. I have been getting a lot of new cards. Just like the events are not really hard anymore. The events really just when I when I play an event, I just straight beeline for for. Um, one of the highest difficulties, just because I can. I already play on the 
not on the hardest difficulty, I play on the hardest one that you can play in an event, which is Expert. I know there is even Master, but I haven't mastered that. Um, but yeah, Extreme of, or Expert is, it's still extremely hard. I mean, Expert, the name does say it, it really uh, takes uh, some time to get used to. It's really, really fast. Even though you play the exact same song that you play on every other difficulty, just it's got a lot more notes, it has to be done a lot faster. It's... Some people say it's Hell on Earth, but no, that's not really it. But yeah, I can't play that sort of content because my phone doesn't want to. And this was the full puzzle. Jesus, it's been taking an hour. Well, this will be compiled into um, 15 minutes, even less than 15 minutes, uh, I think, for as far as I know. Um, hope you've got the idea of what this game actually is. Like, I can show you something more. Like, it's not only this, it's daily challenges. You can change the day, so you can get to the other days? Yeah, you can. Oh, you can even do history, you can play for some sort of coins. I don't know what you can use the coins for. Uh, you can see the history of what you've done. Like, this game has been around for April 2016. Or, or from that moment. You have battles as well. Just uh, one versus one. Give your own battle code. Um, it's like, who can be the fastest with one puzzle? I think it is. Uh... Achievements, of course. Jesus. And you, of course, have the normal plays. Like these four, then tier two. And so on. You even have special packs. It is actually a lot of fun and a lot of uh, relaxing. Just like the daily challenges can get a bit tricky because of what you're doing. Like, I'll show you. I'll show you right now. It's this, but you need to do it in a certain amount of time, I think. But it, it depends. It really does depend on um, what sort of a daily challenge it is. I'm going to make it uh, to the end now, so thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.